Yes, ma'am. We need a few tools if we want to reach the bottom quickly. Follow me to the next floor. The path is cut off. Someone must have altered the mechanism. No matter. It'll just require a bit more work to get through. Some spiritfarers occasionally use Ingenia from the Artisanship Commission to navigate the treacherous terrain here. Normally, using devices like the shifting screen is strictly forbidden, as they could help prisoners escape. But, given the urgency of the situation, let's just ignore the usual regulations. The nether key has been activated. I hope we're not too late. Hang in there, sister. Looks like there was a fierce battle here not long ago. <sighs> the gate to the prison delve is wide open. Hule has managed to break free. Where are the Yaoqing messengers? And where's my sister? Are they still alive? Let's look around. Maybe we'll find some clues. Jay is here. Miss Shui Yi briefly sacrificed herself. My condolences, Miss Hanya. Condolences? Well, that's unnecessary. You must understand. Thanks to the Ten Lords' blessing, my sister turned into an Ingenium centuries ago. Dying and returning as just a soul to the Hall of Karma's document office has become a routine for her. While I'm not keen on seeing her throw away her body like it's some replaceable part, but... By the way, have you seen bodies that might be the Yaoqing messengers? One of them is a Foxian wearing exquisite clothes, and the other wears a dark cloak, like a fugitive. No. I haven't found any Foxian bodies. Only Borison ones. So, the intruders and Hule are holding the Yaoqing messengers hostage. This is the worst situation. With hostages in their grasp, the prison guards can't do anything about the prisoners. If anything happens to the messengers, the relationship between the Yaoqing and the Luofu could be irreversibly damaged. We must rescue the messengers, get out of here, and spread the news. We mustn't give up as long as there's a glimmer of hope.
What have you found, Miss Hanya? Her soul hasn't returned to the Hall of Karma yet. At such a critical moment, her death can give us information that we can turn into an advantage. Let me see. The damage isn't too bad. If I can fix it up, my sister will have a temporary body. I don't know what kind of expression I should have at a time like this. Happy? Tears of joy? <laughs> Forget it. I'm used to you coming back in all sorts of forms. Now is not the time for digit jokes! This psy crane can't put hold all of me. Sister, what did you see when you were... killed? One of the Yaoqing messengers escaped, and the other one was taken hostage and brought upwards? Besides the Borison, there were other intruders. Invisible. Invisible intruders? What does that even mean? How many conspiracies are tangled up in this mess? Do me a favor, sister. The intruders have cut off all communication between inside and outside the prison. And now you're the only person, the only bird, who can slip out undetected. Make sure you deliver the news to the outside world. I... Uh, understand. Please be careful, uh, sister. You... are different... from me. Time is running out, Miss Hanya. If we keep delaying, Miss Borison will escape from the prison. Alright. If we happen to come across that Yaoqing messenger who got away... No. Stopping Hule should probably be our top priority. Yeah. 
These abominations are prisoners from this prison. Be swept away by the wind. Stand still. Destiny isn't chosen. Ill tidings manifest. Good times. Never time to say bye. Boom. Prison management on the law flu is truly concerning. Who are you? Aren't you looking for me? Memories are ever beneath the water lies an endless abyss. Come in it. Every petal, all will be swept away by the wind. There's more to life. Stand still. Just focus on the fight. Mind your manner. Every petal, all will be swept away by the wind. Say bye to breathing. Some value, I suppose. Existence is unity. <laughs> Destiny's hand Repent. has truly blessed me. Relax. Eternal sleep is the dead return! Ill tidings manifest. Good times. No time to say bye. Are beneath the water lies an endless abyss. Nothing major. May as well kill them all. Stand still. Destiny is no fate to send. Cut in the net. The human body is beautiful in its fragility. <laughs>
But I won't throw my life away for a lost cause. Listen up. I've been tracking these fugitives, and I know their next move. They're planning to seal off the entire prison to keep the outside world in the dark. The worst case scenario, we are all killed by that giant wolf, and the shackling prison is sealed off. No one will know about us or about their escape until it's too late. And the best case scenario... Ah, uh, looks like we've got some clever minds here after all. The best case scenario would be, we seal the gates and trap the enemy inside with us. We can't let that monstrous wolf escape. Hopefully, someone will eventually notice that something is off and come to help. As for whether we'll still be alive by then, it's not something we should think about. You sure have a way of comforting people, Mr. Morza. As a person of the Yao Ching, I've always searched for something meaningful to give my life to. I have to make it out alive. My companions are waiting for me. <laughs> As another world dweller, I've already died once. Yeah. We won't give up. Not until the very last moment. None of you are part of the Ten Lords Commission, so sacrificing yourselves isn't the right move. As a judge, it's my responsibility to guard this prison, and if someone should step up to stop Hule from escaping, it should be me, not you. Once we reach the gate, I hope you'll help me seal it. After that, I'll do everything I can to fight the Borison, and you find a safe place to hide and wait for reinforcements. Now, let's proceed upward. Seal the entrance before the Boris and fugitives get out. The prison wardens and mechanisms won't be able to hold them for long. Follow me. be swept away by the wind. Good times. No time to say bye.
My lord, we're just one step away from freedom. Once we pass through the gate, no one will be able to stop us. <sighs> so this hostage is useless now. Kill him, Mok He's getting away. Do something, Zhao Cho. It's just like the old days, you useless loser. Just do something! Maybe this Yao Qin messenger can strike a deal in exchange for his life. He can use his status to help us escape from the Xianzhou. What do you think, Mr. Jiao Zhou? <laughs> oh, just look at you. Fallen so low during my absence. You're even negotiating with livestock. As far as I recall, no one from the Outsheen would ever consider a deal with Duran's offspring. I've got to make this beast stay here, whether it's for the sake of Fei Shao or the Yao Qing. Deal. I certainly have more value alive. My identity, my knowledge of the Xianzhou, and my understanding of many things that your minions have no knowledge of. They'll all be valuable. <laughs> Lowly beast. Muster up that pitiful tongue of yours and plead for what remains of your life. Speak up. I'm afraid you're unaware. The woman who defeated you, Jing Liu, she has recently returned to the Law Fu. Your opportunity for revenge is right in front of you. <sighs> My lord, this slave is talking nonsense. I've never heard anything about this. May I just kill him now? Silence, Mok Tok. And you, slave. From now on, you'll stay by my side. You'll only speak and move when I allow you to. Otherwise, I'll dismember you from head to tail, inch by inch. Got it? But, my lord... We must stay here for some time, Mok Talk. Fear not, because once I step out of the prison, it's the people of the Xianzhou who should tremble in fear. I'll show them what true calamity means. Now, Duran's whelps, follow me! Contact with the Shackling Prison. We received a message from a Psycrane. The prisoners have revolted, and the criminal Hule is nowhere to be found. What about the Yaoqing messengers and the Nameless? No news at the moment. We're trying to restore contact with the Shackling Prison as soon as possible. I see. You're dismissed. General Jing Yuan, General Hua Yan, it's just as we suspected. The rise of the Ambrosial Arbor was not the end of things, but the beginning. 
The hand of the Ruin Legion has already sown the seeds of destruction. From this moment on, the Sienjo Alliance will face an even greater challenge from both the abominations of abundance and the destruction itself. If this is what they want, I'm always up for a challenge. As the Marshal Special Envoy, I'll dispatch the Lawfu Cloud Knights to pursue Hule myself. Looks like the hidden drags have finally come to the surface. And as I said before, it's time to wash them away, once and for all. Haven of memories. Every touch, every moment is like a thorned rose. Hmm. <sighs> 